Hello, I'm Nancy O'Neill. Today on Suncoast FYI, the fight to end summer hunger, home improvement that can keep your home safe during hurricane season, and a great way to help our ocean's ecosystems. All next on Suncoast FYI. Welcome to this week's Suncoast FYI. I'm Nancy O'Neill. Summer is right around the corner and you can bet the kids are excited for summer vacation. But for some children, that excitement just isn't here. For some children, that excitement is buried beneath hunger. The CEO of All Faiths Food Bank, Sandra Frank, is helping Sarasota end summer hunger. And Sandra joins me now to tell us everything we need to know about the campaign against summer hunger. So thank you for being here oh, today. Thank you thank so you much, so Nancy, much. for inviting us. Please start by telling us what the camp, the summer campaign mm -hmm. is. I know you have campaigns ongoing all year, but mm -hmm. what is the summer campaign all about? The campaign against summer hunger uh, has been designed to address the fact that when school ends, hunger begins for over 21,000 children in Sarasota County. So 21,000 the number be, the number of children who are on the free and reduced meal programs at the schools. Mm -hmm. That's about 50 percent of the enrolled students here in Sarasota are eligible. Mm -hmm. I don't think people know that fact. We know that they when summer ends they're going to be hungry as well as their little brothers and sisters. So mm -hmm. the number is far more than 21,000. Our goal is to make sure they receive nutritious food all summer long so they're prepared to succeed when school starts again in the fall. Wonderful, wonderful. How do you go about reaching all those children that are hungry in our mm -hmm. community? You know, we do it through partnerships. It's all about collaboration and partnerships. We mm -hmm. had to find out where kids go during the summer uh, because they are in different locations. They disperse and they're all over the place. So we have about 140, at least 140 different partners all summer long who mm -hmm. help us feed kids and we deliver the food to them or deliver the food directly to children in parks and locations like that. Okay, and who are some of the people that help you distribute this? Tell us a little bit yes. about them. So the school system will have schools open during the summertime and we are able to feed kids there. Mm -hmm. We're delivering backpacks, we feed kids through our mobile pantries with our new Sprout Mobile Farm Market, uh, school pantries, mm -hmm. we just have a number of, of different modalities. And then partners include the libraries. Talk about a fabulous idea. I mean, it's a safe place for children to go. They're going to read and have healthy food. Mm -hmm. So those are the mm -hmm. kind of partners we're looking for. Where kids are during the summer, we're going to be. Okay. Now, why is there such a significant need? Is it because the families that they come from can't support their their all their children's needs and their mm -hmm. families' needs during their mm -hmm. summer food wise. Mm -hmm. It really is an interesting phenomenon because the majority of the families that we serve are mm -hmm. working families. They just do not make yeah. enough to, to, to make ends meet. So during the school year the kids are able to get breakfast and lunch through the school system. Mm -hmm. okay. During the summer they are not. Okay. So they're stretched. Okay. The families are stretched. And there's there's um, again you said a lot of community support. Do organizations get involved with you and how can they do that? Mm -hmm. We, um, well first of all, if any organization has a group of kids coming throughout the summer, we want to hear from them because we want to provide food to those children. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if it's an organization that wants to donate food, we're really strongly encouraging food drives. Uh, we hope to gain, to, to gather a million pounds of food to feed kids this summer. In addition to the fundraising, it's food raising. Mm -hmm. Now when is the program, uh, when did it start and when does it continue through? Yes. Uh, the actual public campaign is April 1 through May 15. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the fundraising, any monies raised up to 600000 uh, will be matched dollar for dollar between now and May 15th. So we have a $600,000 match. Mm -hmm. So we just, every, every penny, every dollar counts to, get, to make sure the match is met. Okay, now I know you have a lot of different campaigns. I personally received something I'm fortunate enough to be on your mailing list. Thank you. And um, I received uh, a request for a donation 
yes. uh, through the mail. What other um, avenues, uh, social media, are you using so that people can go out and find those? Mm -hmm. They can always go to our website, mm -hmm. allfaithfoodbank.org, and, and learn about the summer campaign as well as our other programming mm -hmm. and donate that way. We're on Facebook. I'd love to have people like us on Facebook. Uh, we are, you know, we, we're talking about the summer campaign several times a day. It's just a wonderful opportunity to learn more about what we do. Mm -hmm. Now, some of the sponsors that you have, um, again, I know personally from attending the Sarasota Film Festival yes, yes. that there was a wonderful, wonderful PSA that was on there that inspired me when I received your your piece of mm -hmm. mail uh, to donate. Uh, who else are some of your, your major sponsors that that you can talk about. Of course, the Herald Tribune is a, is a strong partner for us and has been since the inception of the campaign mm -hmm. in 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, the Jewish Federation is a very strong supporter of mm -hmm. uh, Gulf Coast Community Foundation. Mm -hmm. And you know, there are probably another 50 or 60 what we call investors, and these are individuals who are donating to help make that match who don't want to be named, but the community truly does come together mm -hmm. to help us feed kids. We're so okay. appreciative. Oh, that's great. And I know, um, and, and, and this is, is personally, again, touching my heart, but uh, Ringling College of Art and Design yes. was involved in taking uh, you on as a client, so to speak, yes. to have their, um, their students work with you yes, and yes, create did. a PSA, which can be seen on your website, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. One of them. That one brings tears to my eyes because they developed probably 10 different PSAs. Mm -hmm. One of them went throughout the food banks in Florida and nationally to use it. Wow. And there are three others that have now been crafted, and we're sharing okay. those across the country That's awesome. because of Ringling College students. Thank Isn't you. it wonderful? Yes, it is. <laughs> so one more time, please yes. tell us how they can contact you, your website, and your phone number, yes. Sandra. Allfaithsfoodbank.org is the website, and the number is 379-6333. Great. Thank you very much for being here. We really appreciate oh, you doing this for our community. Thank you so much for inviting okay. us. Thank it was you. wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Next on Suncoast FYI, with summer coming, hurricane season is also upon us. If you're looking to prepare your home with strong protective storm shutters, this is a good place to start. One of the many services that a White Aluminum has to offer. And I'll sit down with White Aluminum CEO and he'll explain when we come back. Welcome back to Suncoast FYI. White Aluminum has brought six decades of home improvements to homes throughout Florida. Their work ranges from roof repairs, room additions, storm shutters, installations, and much more. William Bud Dorman is the CEO of White Aluminum, and he joins me now. And glad to have you on the show today. Glad to be here today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, I think an important thing to do is let's start off by giving us an overview of what your business is. Well, we're a multifaceted aluminum construction company who is actually licensed to do home construction. We don't. Uh, we're a 60-year company. Mm -hmm. uh, we have six locations in the state of Florida. And our newest location is about three years old, right here on 237 Interstate Boulevard, our Sarasota location. Okay. Um, we're, our main jobs, uh, we do a lot of builder business in this area. Uh, our main job is uh, pool enclosures, mm -hmm. soffit and fascia, mm -hmm. uh, gutter, um, sunrooms, and windows. We okay. do a lot of windows and doors. Okay. So new new installations with the builders we, we or do both. replacement. We, we do replacement or retrofit in mm -hmm. existing homes because some of the homes now get be ten or twelve years old and the windows aren't energy efficient. We just had a new code that came through mm -hmm. and everything has to meet certain energy efficient conditions, okay. which is actually a real benefit to all the people who buy them mm -hmm. uh, because it makes everything you know, more energy efficient in their home. Okay. Um, so you know, after 60 years, and I've been with a company for 38 of those 60 years, um, you know, our main focus is to provide solid, customer uh, service to our customers mm -hmm. uh, 
under promise and over deliver. Okay. Um, and if you perform ethically every day in your business, mm -hmm. uh, you'll find that you continue to get the market share that you're looking for. There you go. And everything is under warranty for a certain we, we, period of time? We have, time? Uh, we're not sure we're the only one, yes. but we have uh, a written two-year warranty okay. that goes out to every customer we do business with. So you will receive a written warranty from White Aluminum and Windows. Okay. Um, it's, uh, it's good for the labor and the materials. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a leak that just happens to happen in your screen room, mm -hmm. 23 months after I built the job and you mm -hmm. call us, we come out and fix it for nothing. Okay. So. Now, can you give us an idea of, say, somebody replaced the windows in their home, okay, and upgraded them. Mm -hmm. uh, what type of savings could they expect to see uh, long range over the, you know, You know, it's, it's hard to specify mm -hmm. the specific percentage of savings mm -hmm. um, because in your home, it's multifaceted. Mm -hmm. uh, not only the insulation package that you have in your home, mm -hmm but the type of air conditioning and how efficient it is. Sure. So, so when you, a customer calls me, I say, well, I can make your windows very energy efficient. And as long as your air conditioner has what they call a high sear rate mm -hmm. and you've got good insulation in your home and you say, do that all at once, mm -hmm. you could easily save 35 to 40 percent. Well, that's significant. On, on your energy. Yes. And nowadays everything is, you know, vinyl framed windows, mm -hmm. not aluminum frames. Right. Okay, with low E glass. Mm -hmm. So you and and on the coast, it's impact windows. Okay, because Which we need sure. it, absolutely. So it's either impact or regular glass with storm protection. Okay. So you those are you, it's not like you get that you have to do either one. So, okay. but now, what are the builders that? local builders that you work with I know um, that well uh, some of our you know we're doing business locally with Cal Atlantic which just recently was Ryland okay uh, we do business with uh, we're actually negotiating right now with Pulte okay um, we do business with Allegra Homes uh, John Cannon is okay. a big builder so around here. a lot here. of our major we, builders. We, yeah. nope. I think we do business with 37 local builders. Wow. Okay. So Now, it, it, what about the people that work for you and work with these builders? Well, you know, we're trained. real, really fortunate in Sarasota. We, the, the location we bought was a 38-year location. Mm -hmm. Had been there in this area for 38 years. Uh, we've been fortunate to get some senior veteran local people who work for other window companies. Mm -hmm. And I would say we probably have in five staff people over 150 years of experience in this business. That's so, great. That's so great. every one of our people, we were just really fortunate to get the best they, that Sarasota has to yeah, offer. They know what and, they're doing. And the, over the last year, we started focusing on windows really strongly, okay. and our backlog has really grown in this area. Well, that's, so, a, that's a good problem. Now, yeah. where can people go? Um, to get on that list and mm -hmm. hopefully not have to wait too long to, to get you to come out and see right. them. Well, you can call our local location mm -hmm. and, of course, go to our website and click on any location that we have there and it'll tell you what number to call. Okay. And you can look through the website and see all the products that we offer. Okay, uh, great. So that, that's the best way to get a hold of us. All right, okay. wonderful. Well, right, thank you, Mr. Dorman, for being here. Glad to Appreciate be here. It. Thank, thank you so you. much. All right. Coming up on Suncoast FYI, what is a reef ball? And they're popping up all over the world and helping our ocean's ecosystems, one splash at a time. When we come back, the vice president of Suncoast Underwater will give us a description, so please stay with us. Welcome back to Suncoast FYI. Living here on the Suncoast, we know how important it is to take care of the ocean and its ecosystem. That's exactly what the Suncoast Underwater Club is doing. Cortland Hunt, Vice President of the Suncoast Underwater Club, is here to talk about how we can help protect our ocean's reefs. And thank you, Cortland, and Welcome to Suncoast FYI. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So we're going to start with you telling us about what a reef ball is. Okay, so a reef ball is a pH balanced marine friendly uh, concrete ball that we've created so that it, it is meant to be like a seed that we place down there and wildlife grows on it, organisms grow on it, 
and it's completely friendly to the environment. There's no metal in it. There's nothing toxic in it. It's very marine uh, friendly. Okay. Now, I know that you have a program that you'd like to tell us about and how the reef balls are, are involved. Okay. So the, Federal, the Fish and Wildlife Commission, the FWC, has come through with a grant, so a leading grant. They've contributed $60,000 to put out these uh, reef balls, and we're going to put them out and establish them at an existing reef out there that is called Veterans Trail. Twelve miles offshore of Sarasota, there's five army tanks that have been placed down there. So we're going to put these balls in between those tanks so a diver can go down and start at one spot and follow the reef balls in between these tanks and really get a good visual of everything that we've created out there. So as a father, I've realized that we need to leave something for our generation of, of kids mm -hmm. that uh, is, we're going to put this thing down here today. And eventually, it's going to grow into a giant reef. And it's going to, uh, corals grow on top of that, on top of that. A hundred years from now, a thousand years from now, it could turn into a, a giant reef with millions and millions of animals on top of it. So we're looking for uh, companies, for individuals that either want to commemorate an event or a person, mm -hmm. as well as the companies to come through and be a platinum sponsor, maybe for $10,000, to get on top of this and match funds that the FWC and the city of Sarasota has contributed so that we can create something giant. It's really a great opportunity to piggyback off of what, we're, what we've got going on already. Okay. And how many reefs do you have currently uh, in the surrounding area here in the waters of Sarasota? There's, there's 600,000 reef balls worldwide, but in Sarasota County right now, there's about 500 out there, but we have the opportunity to drop a, a lot of this, these balls out there because of FWC's donation mm -hmm. and um, create something giant. Cool. Now, what type of organisms, I know that there's a lot of different things down in our waters here off the coast, what type of organisms and fish do you expect to colonize these? These balls are going to attract everything that is out there currently on any natural reef. So you start off with, with algae and then soft corals and small corals and then bait and then big fish, grouper, amberjack, cobia. All the fish will find this and make this their home just like they would any other reef. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, I know that there's the, the value is to create an environment for our future generations. And uh, tell us a little bit about what you've seen happening in our, in our waters over the past few years, because I know you're a diver, you're a spear fisherman, and you're down there a lot. So how is this going to help us and the community? So this is for both divers, fishermen, anybody that enjoys the outdoors. The, the, in the past, we've sunk ships out there. And the economic impact from studies has shown that there's about $30 million a year in economic impact to Sarasota County alone and $250 million among the six surrounding counties. That's a lot of money generated every year from these mm -hmm. reefs. But those ships rust away and they disappear and they blow mm -hmm. away with hurricanes, whereas these concrete walls will last forever. And so it's a great opportunity to bring money in, tourist dollars, local dollars, to really boost the economy with a small investment into something like this. Okay, now this is a small one that you brought with us, but how large are they and how much do these weigh when you put them down there? They generally go from 400 pounds for a small one to 8,000 pounds for one that would be eight feet off the bottom. So okay. eight feet off the bottom for a reef is a giant reef in Florida, it really tracks the fish. Wow. And they really enjoy it. Okay. Now, where can our um, viewers go to find out more if they would like to um, have a plaque donated in the name of a loved one um, or a company that would like to get involved with you? You can visit reefinnovations.org. Um, any sort of sponsorships are, are tax deductible. And so a company can get in on this and really create something that's lasting. So we'd like to reach out to reefinnovations.com and um, or, or contact me directly. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Pleasure having you here today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, stay tuned to Suncoast FYI and we'll be right back. 
That's our show today, and thank you so much for joining us. If you would like to promote your business, event, or community outreach program on Suncoast FYI, we would love to hear from you. Just call our sales department at 941-361-4239. I'm Nancy O'Neill, and I'll see you next Friday on Suncoast FYI.